Number 15. A Burial Ground what happens when your home actually was built over an ancient burial ground? Helen Wiesen's cell of Wisconsin found out while doing a remodeling project in her old home. When she dug into the basement, she hit upon something hard. That's when she made a most gruesome discovery. A child was buried there. Don't worry, the findings don't have a particularly heinous backstory, but to come across this buried beneath the basement was certainly on the creepy side. The child wasn't the only one beneath Helen's basement. Archaeologists found a centuries-old cemetery buried there. Local historians said that it was likely one of the earliest cemeteries in Jefferson County. We're talking 170 plus years old. This puts those buried there back in the eras of unrest in America. So the house must have been haunted, right? Everybody asks me, Did you have weird things happen in your home? Helen said. I say, No, my house is just fine. Helen is a lucky lady. She really came close to a terrifying haunting. Number 14. The Ring Redditor Colin Tendo has come to terms with something he dislikes about his home. The sinister well dug into his basement floor. I have the ring in my basement, he writes, and with three photographs, he provides proof of this haunting discovery, a cavernous hole beneath a hatch. The thing does seem to go on forever, reaching the deepest depths of darkness into the great and terrifying unknown. I know it's just a film, but the last thing I'd want to discover in my home was a creepy well in the basement. No doubt in my mind that a tunnel into the darkness wouldn't lead to anything good. Most of Reddit agrees, calling it a gate to hell and advising the OP to fill it with cement. Number 13. Old Lady Demon Doll Redditor Socks and Pants listed this doll as one of the creepiest things the OP has ever found in a basement. The old lady demon was uncovered in the basement of an estate sale, where it probably should have been left to rot. I mean, look at the thing, it's obviously possessed. Absolutely no question about it. What child picks out an old lady doll? With brittle bones, pasty skin, rotting teeth, vacant eyes, and broken fingers anyway, who wants this as a plaything? Additional details by the OP include that a name was carved into the back of the doll's neck, perhaps by the doll's owner or whoever made this nightmare toy. One Redditor suggested to speak the name fast three times in front of a mirror. Another Redditor joined in, saying that the doll only needed two additional souls to be fully restored. Another fun fact, the doll was discovered in a black box that had been secured shut with some string. If that doesn't say demon doll right there, I don't know what does. If we only knew who the doll's original owner was, we could finally unravel this mystery. Number 12. The Secret Roommate have you ever wondered if there was a stranger living in your basement? Probably not. No one could pull that off without anyone noticing, right? But in September 2013, some university students at Ohio State answered in the affirmative to that very question when they discovered a secret room in the basement of their shared house, a secret room that showed every sign of having been occupied. The house in question had three floors and a basement. The first floor was leased to five roomies, while the upper floors were leased to ten more. That's 15 people total, but as it turns out, there was actually 16 people living there. The students had assumed the locked door in the basement led to a utility closet, but when the door was knocked down by maintenance workers, they discovered a room with framed photographs all over the walls and textbooks flung across the floor. To put it simply, it looked like your average college dorm room. Only this roommate had been living there without anyone knowing. At least one of the residents had encountered the secret roommate. One student recalled heading downstairs into the basement when he crossed paths with the guy who avoided answering when questioned about whether he lived on the first floor of the house. The roomies changed the locks the night of the scary discovery and placed a note on their door telling their secret roommate to give them a call. Jeremy, a stranger to the home's other residents, did just that, and when he was confronted about living there, rent-free, he was completely chill about it and left without causing an uproar. The residents blamed the leasing company for this incident, with one of the residents, Hartman, saying, 
They hadn't changed the locks from the year before, and the keys don't say do not duplicate. There could be hundreds of people with keys to the house. Who knows? Perhaps there are hundreds of other secret roommates living in hidden chambers and basements across the world. Number 11. Meat Hooks A Redditor by the name of Anthropology Nerd shared a story about the scariest thing his family had ever found in their basement. The OP's family had bought a century-old home in upstate New Hampshire and describes the basement as already creepy, dark, dingy, with a dirt floor and half stone lined. There were few light bulbs down there and large spaces in between so that when you turn the lights off to head upstairs, you'd probably run for your life out of fear of what might try and reach out at you from the darkness. Anthropology Nerd paints a rather awful picture of the rest. Combine this part of the basement with the other half, tucked around a corner under a newer addition to the house, built to sanitation code with white plastic walls, concrete floor, temperature control, a walk-in freezer, for some reason with no door handle if you were locked inside, and meat hooks hanging from the ceiling. Come to find out, the home's last owner was a German man who loved sausage. He used to make it and sell it out of his home. So the old house's basement was a sausage factory, and its front parlor served as the shop. Needless to say, after the OP and his brother had explored the frightening meat-hooked basement once, they never went back down there. With meat hooks hanging in the ceiling, I wouldn't either. I'd probably always wonder if a more human type of meat had hung there. Number 10. The Duffel Bag Redditor Daily Dish a Bill can top those meat hooks. When the OP was sharing a house with friends, one night, they all decided to go investigate the basement as they hadn't been down there much yet. It was a half-finished basement with a dirt crawl space that wound its way under the home's porch. And what the group was about to find out in that crawl space will send chills down your spine. As the OP tells it, my roommate scurries under there with a flashlight and takes a look around. We hear him yell that he found something, and a minute or so later, he emerges with a black canvas duffel bag clutched in his hand. What was in the duffel bag? You don't want to know, but we'll tell you anyway. The duffel bag contained a 4.5 inch hunting knife, two black ski masks, and one black leather glove. The group called police detectives to see if they should bring the shady duffel bag into authorities. They said they weren't interested. So together, group burned all the contents of the duffel bag except, of course, the knife, which the OP claims is in his possession to this day. Number 9. A Live Artillery Shell While most of the things on this list are scary, but aren't particularly dangerous, this entry definitely counts as both. Linda DeFrost, a resident of Indiana, was rummaging through her basement's contents when she came upon a heavy, green foot-long object that looked just like a bomb because that's exactly what it was that she just found a torpedo in the basement, and when he went to check it out, he saw that she wasn't at all joking. Instead of leaving the bomb to specialists to handle with care, Mr. DeForest manhandled the device, observing, I knew it was official, because it was so heavy. The couple went to their army vet friend, Joshua Blankenship, for advice. He told the DeForest that it was one of two things, an anti-tank weapon or a round for a mortar. He also told them that it didn't appear to be disarmed or disassembled, and they probably shouldn't touch it, for obvious reasons. Once the DeForest called upon the proper authorities, they were soon free and clear of the device. That is, after the unit had evacuated the whole street, the real question is why was this even in a basement in Indiana in the first place? Number 8. Tank when the authorities suspected that a wealthy German man owned illegal possessions, police were sent to search his villa. What they found there was a full arsenal, including a torpedo, much like what was found in the DeForest home, and best of all, a massive WW2 tank in the basement. The tank in question was a 1943 Panther. The Panther was a German medium tank deployed on Europe's eastern and western fronts. At 22 feet and 45 tons, as you can imagine, this massive tank in the basement was problematic for authorities when it came to removal. 
police ended up employing another tank that was specifically designed to lug disabled tanks from the battlefield. So what happens when you get caught with this in your basement? Well, in this man's case, his lawyer argued that the client's possession of the tank wasn't breaking any laws as it is no longer able to fire. The argument may not hold up though, unless it's in a museum or for academic purposes. Number 7. 200 pound alligator. If you think a tank is bad, why don't you make your way down into the basement of Charles Price, a crazy man who lives in Michigan and the proud owner of an illegal pet alligator. Price had been keeping a six foot alligator in his basement for more than 20 years. That's most of the 26 year old alligator's life. The exotic pet was kept in a cage in the basement presumably to get rid of the house's mouse infestation. That's what pet alligators do, right? According to Sergeant Bill Shannon, the owner put it out periodically in his backyard, although no one had ever seen it. An appliance repairman alerted authorities to the matter when he discovered the scary creature lurking in the basement. During some home repair work, he said he'd seen something moving in a container that was covered in a dark corner of the basement. When he pulled the cover off, he found the great alligator. Most people would have run for their lives, but not this repairman. He stuck around, photographed the illegal pet, and called animal control. An alligator specialist was called in, as was the conservation police officer, Roberto Macias, and the 200-pound alligator was rescued from his basement dwelling, hopefully reunited with his long-lost family in a swamp somewhere. In 25 years, I've never had anything like that. Police Chief Dennis Murren Jr. said, Neither have we, Dennis. Neither have we. Number 6. Demon Statue This scary demon statue was discovered by Redditor, probably a wizard, in the basement of a relative. The demon statue is holding a cord that seems to be leading right to its brain. Perhaps it turns the demon's mind on for possession, or perhaps it makes the statue come alive. The resulting Reddit discussion of the demon statue revolved around what in the heck the thing was, with some suggesting it was a Cupai doll, a Halloween decoration, a lamp, or even art. Fellow Redditors urged the OP to plug the demon in, but others, like Cycle Freak 6, thought better of it, saying, that's a warning to stay out of the basement. Number 5. Doll's Last Supper Perhaps dolls are the creepiest things to find in basements, because like so many doll entries, this one certainly quickens the pulse. This scene was discovered in the basement of a restaurant where the OP, Gravity Boy, had dinner. The OP said the restaurant was Hanny's in downtown Phoenix. The place seemed upscale, but when he saw the spiral staircase leading downstairs, he just had to see what the basement had in store. He probably wished he'd never gone, because this one will most certainly haunt his dreams. The photo shows a group of a dozen dolls sitting along a table with loads of coins scattered before them. And judging by the thread of comments from Reddit users, dolls are about as scary as clowns to most people. Some called the dolls angry. Some claim they wouldn't be able to sleep at night, while others warned Gravity Boy that his soul was in danger. Mostly everyone found the scene more than a little creepy. Number 4. A Leg what is scarier than finding a whole person in your basement? Finding just one limb, blogger Karen was cleaning out her basement before the centipede exterminator came to visit. When she came upon something she long forgotten was down there, a vintage prosthetic leg. The leg is fitted with a sock and shoe, and although it's not as creepy as finding an actual human body part in your basement, it is creepy to think someone has lost their artificial one. Most of Karen's followers find the discovery to be rather strange and unsettling. Other followers suggest that Karen adapt the prosthetic or donate it to be reused by someone who needs it. Number 3. A Spine now for real parts discovered in basements, Redditor Hapless Rue tells about a girl he once knew that discovered a spine in the ceiling of the basement of an old rental home. What would you do if you found something so spine-tingling, pardon the pun, in your basement? 
This girl called up her landlord, who claimed the spine belonged to a dog. He confiscated the scary discovery and split. On another occasion, the girl heard a noise in the attic, and upon opening the attic hatch, was showered with crayons. Are the two somehow related? Most Redditors following the thread thought the girl should have called the police. They suspected the landlord may have something to do with that spine, and no one believed for a minute that it was a dog spine. Let's all hope that the demonic spirit of Fido didn't haunt this young girl. Not sure what a dog haunting would entail, but the image of Cujo comes to mind. Number 2. Toxic Chemicals Redditor Jim Dixon knows a thing or two about scary things found in basements. His mother was part of an evacuation because something was discovered in the basement of an area resident, something absolutely toxic. According to Jim Dixon, the police cleared his mother's neighborhood for evacuation. According to Jim Dixon, the police cleared his mother's neighborhood for evacuation for several hours, with city buses loading residents and taking them to safety, all because a would-be chemist had stored loads of toxic chemicals in his basement up the street. When the chemist passed away, the treasure trove of unstable chemicals was discovered with the potential for leakage or explosion imminent. The police quickly cleared the area and a truck loaded up the chemicals and hauled them off. The evacuation was just a safety precaution, but the idea of a possible explosion or poisoning at any moment was scary nonetheless. Another Redditor on the thread, Trudor, says this is not as unusual an incident as we may think. He said one of his high school classmates passed from a chemical explosion and nearly took his whole family with him, he writes. He was a self-taught, self-proclaimed genius chemist, specializing in making fireworks and other nasty stuff, and was regularly taking chemicals from our school stash. According to Trudor, the poor kid had been so interested in chemicals that he decided to fill up a tube with nitric acid, which ended up leaking in his backpack at one point. This isn't what took him out. Rather, a water main busted at his house one night, flooding the flat and disturbing his chemical trove. The result was an explosion, a fire, and an entire house burned to the ground. His family and neighbors escaped, but the kid did not. One of the many reasons not to keep talking toxic chemicals in an unsafe environment without protection. Better yet, if you're not a chemistry genius, don't mess with them in the first place. Before we get to number one, my name is Chills and I hope you're enjoying the video so far. If you've ever been curious as to what I look like in real life, then follow me on Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT with underscores instead of spaces. I also have a Twitter at YT underscore Chills where I post video updates. I'd really appreciate it if you followed me and feel free to send me a DM if you have any questions or suggestions. Also, I recently created a subreddit where you can submit videos and stories for future lists. It's r slash chills narrator, and the link is in the description below. It's a proven fact that generosity makes you a happier person, so if you're generous enough to hit that subscribe button and the bell beside it, then thank you. This way, you'll be notified of the new videos we upload every Tuesday and Saturday. If English isn't the only language you speak and you're interested in getting a shout out, click more, then add translations. By translating the video, not only will more people be able to watch it, but a link to your channel will be added in the description. Number 1. Strange and Otherworldly Specimens one of the coolest and creepiest discoveries on this list is that of an eccentric cryptonaturalist, xenoarchaeologist, and fringe zoologist called Thomas Theodore Mary Lynn. He was born in 1782 in England, and as a wealthy aristocrat and biologist, he turned to studying his abominable specimens, which are likely fake, at least we hope. Marilyn left behind a freakish array of cryptic items in the sealed basement of an old orphanage in London. The items were rediscovered in 2006 when hundreds of big crates were unearthed, having been buried in the basement. What was inside them? You don't really want to know, but you're about to. Numerous diaries detailing strange and unnatural entities 
Specimens of creatures that are not of this world and thousands of chilling artifacts were boxed up for the unfortunate archaeologist to find. I say unfortunate because these things surely made their stomach turn. The collection is now called the Maryland Cryptic Collection. Officials still don't know what this collection means, why it was contrived, and what we should make of it. Are these things real? Do we want them to be? But all we do know is, once you've taken a look at Maryland's collection, it's something you'll never forget, no matter how hard you try. Wait, don't leave yet. I have something to show you. We made this top 15 list a little while ago and I think you're really gonna like it. Check it out and tell me what you think.